Sports should never be a life and death thing, but Conan Dalton says certainly sports and all that goes into it has been part of his life and death situation. He says being around athletics has been a key part of his healing process. Once I got through the chemo and everything the first time um, and all the radiation, I knew I knew there'd be a 2012. Mm -hmm. It was more. It was more just what kind of quality of life, and it's it's been pretty good up until about a month ago when I had that scare. And, but I'm feeling great now. Mm -hmm. Talk about too. I mean, the value of being around uh, young athletes too, oh, and being plugged yes. into athletics. This is you can't begin to imagine how excited I am to be here because I've been a he, when I was growing up, my grandma and I came to basically all the Rocky games, even though you know I lived in East Moline mm -hmm. and went to some of the UT games. I've always been a big Rocky basketball fan. This is like a dream for me just to be a part of this program at, in any capacity. Talk about you know where to fit in with your family life too. You know you think differently when you're married and when you're a father oh, yeah. too. You know it it makes a huge difference. That's you know that that makes it you know it's. Like it, the coaching, the, the coaching takes so much time. But you know, just like e even this Christmas season, you know, we had Christmas and then gone the next day. But you know, it's just, it's just amazing. You know, finally now that I actually have my own family, and you know, this is his second Christmas, and he knows what's going on a lot more. It was, I, it was amazing yesterday. Mm -hmm. Just when he woke up and he opened presence and everything and just to be around family and everything. Mm -hmm. Talk about, you know, what your message would be to maybe some other uh, patients that don't have any cancer or anything too, but the therapeutic end of things of, of having a support system like this, find something like that to keep you busy and have people lifting you up. Well, I mean, you can never put a value on relationships, you know, that's my biggest message is w without all the people that I've met through sports. You know, especially through through soccer. I mean, just like I told you when we talked not too long ago, I had a prayer chain that went around the world. Mm -hmm. You know, and somebody was explaining it all to me, and that's just amazing. I mean, I'm not the world's most r religious person, but to me, that's just absolutely amazing. And you know, it's just to have a support system like that, and you know, to all, all my friends that came and saw me in the hospital and drove to Iowa City and stuff like that. And when when I went through. Uh, when I, I went through radiation the first time, different people would drive me all the time because luckily I went in the summer because most of my friends are teachers. And then when I when I've gone through chemo, my wife hasn't been able to go, and people, you know, just friends, you know, and it's it's pretty amazing. He just kind of goes about business as normal, and and so sometimes. Um, at least personally to kind of even step back and, and realize all he's been through mm -hmm. and, and look at that as, as something that, uh, one, it's, it's a perspective check, you know, of, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that this is still just high school basketball and, and there are bigger things out there in life that are more important and it's also a little in, inspiration too. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we kid, that's what's nice too is, I mean, with his attitude that he brings, it's easy to joke with him and stuff and, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's kind of one of those things with, with the players, I think they maybe know a little bit, but you know, we'll, you know, we'll kind of let them, you know, they, I think they know and they understand, but he doesn't talk about it much, so. Mm -hmm. As someone who's a parent, too, I mean, talk about that part, that, that the scope of that for you, that, you know, when things can be taken away, because you want to see your children grow up, and uh, you, you don't want these kind of adversities, I guess. No, it, yeah, it's, you know, it's one of those things that you, you look at, and, you know, how many days in the news you read about these things, or you hear about them, mm -hmm. and um, then the kind of see something you know up close and personal with somebody we know um, that's a part of us to, to know what he's been through it uh, like I said it's it's one of those things that you know we get in the daily grind and we start you know in basketball you start thinking about W's and L's and um, you know in the big picture it's really not <laughs> that big of a deal you know we're competing and we want to try to win and and teach those life lessons but there's also life lessons that go way beyond the basketball court mm -hmm. and he's one who will say that he's a walking picture of prayer too yeah, he's you know one of those things. He you know, kind of got sick this fall, and of course the, you know, I think he was worried. Family, friends were worried about what it, you know, with with some of the things he's been through, how bad it was, and and to be able to pray about it, and and um, you know, God's worked mir miracles uh, so far, and we want to see that continue. Now Dalton says being around the Rock Island Rocks is the picture of youth, strength, and athletic ability, and it inspires him. But actually, that inspiration goes both ways. He brings a hard-working attitude that we can respect, you know, 
by like making sure everything prepared for us, our like clothing, every all our like, gear and stuff that we wear during the game, making sure all that stuff taken care of, making our practice uniform washed and all that stuff, and just being like a good spirit around us, being funny, laughing with us, joking with us, mm -hmm. it's great. How cool is it too that I mean this is a guy he's been a head coach uh, you know in soccer and stuff like that too that he's humbled himself you know that he he wants to serve you guys you know yeah we can. We can respect that, you know what I mean, being a head coach for soccer. And, um, you know what I mean, just he's a he's a big role in our team, we feel like, you know what I mean, and everything and just keep going forward. We never know when something, you know I mean, like his situation will come upon us, you know what I mean, as players, you know what I mean, when we get sick, sick, we're feeling well one day, get sick the next day, you never know. So just he can, he inspiration, he inspires us and like let us know that we can make it through things, you know what I mean, make it through a bad game, make it through, you know what I mean, what's going on in life and we got somebody to talk to. This group of kids just work so hard and you know, you never, you, you never know because kids are kids and um, they, they inspire me because of the fact that they're all skinny and you know, maybe I can get back there someday and you know, it, it, it's one of those things that it just re-energizes you when you're feeling down or whatever just because you don't necessarily feel as well. And then you see them running around mm -hmm. with endless energy, and you know I I just like to be around the kids because they're they're good kids and they they probably help me more than anything else. Mm -hmm. Have you found yourself viewing people differently Almost. because of that? You, I think when you go through something that I've gone through, not that it's more serious than a lot of people have gone through, but I found that you just you value your family so much more. You know, it's like every time. You know, when I talk to my parents, I always tell them I love them when I get off the phone and everything. Mm -hmm. You just got to make the most of it because, you know, and you can't take, take certain things too seriously, you know. You got to make the most of it, and, you know, because if there's a tomorrow, there's a tomorrow, you know. But you got to make the most of right now, you know, and just make sure that you're looking ahead. But at the same time, you know, have fun because you never know. Sure.